Thanks for checking out this movie review video. This is for the 2023 film Double Blind, and I watched it through Voodoo. It's a smaller, more independent film, actually from Ireland. This is an Irish horror film. Not my first, but um, it's a good one. I do recommend this film, uh, and it's not that expensive. Like a lot of these more low-budget independent films, if you find them on Voodoo, they're pretty low cost. So this one was $5.99, and then you throw a tax on top of that. So it's just a little over 6 bucks. I think it was like $6.23. Definitely worth the price. So Double Blind, directed by Ian Hunt Duffy. This is the individual's first feature film. Did a really good job for a first feature film, I do have to say. Written by Darak uh, McGargle. Uh, also, same for uh, first feature for this individual as well. This film has Pollyanna McIntosh in it in an acting role, which yes, she is an actor. She's been an act or an actress. She's been an actress for quite some time. Uh, but you might know her from the writing and directing credit of the film Darlin, which I have a friend who was in that film. Shout out to Christina Arntz. You're awesome. Uh, she also Christina has her own YouTube channel. Check that out. It's just her name. Arntz is A R N T Z. Anyway, moving on. Double Blind. Uh, this one is basically about a bunch of people who decide to do a, a drug trial with a corporation uh, for money, obviously, because that's usually what people end up getting in return for that type of stuff, because otherwise people wouldn't want to just take drugs that they don't know what they are really, do they? So there's a obviously a horror element to this because I'm reviewing it and my channel's all about horror films, so I don't want to give away too much, but basically things don't go well with the drug trial. Uh, I will say that they basically get stuck in the facility and it's kind of up to those individuals to uh, try and get themselves out of the situation. But don't want to give too much up about it. It is a good one. I do recommend checking it out. The first scene in this that's pre-title card, very disturbing and it's going to be very triggering to certain people. Anyone who doesn't like animals being in danger or implied violence against animals, you're not going to like this. It is a mouse. I will tell you, it's like literally the first thing that happens. There's a mouse that's put in a really terrible situation. Uh, obviously, nothing actually happened to the actual mouse on set because whatever the terrible thing that happens to it is implied. It's, you know, it goes to black, so you don't actually see anything, but it is distressing. It is disturbing. So, for people who are particularly um, triggered by that stuff, just understand that it's in there. And it's the very beginning. Uh, the score is well done and really sets an eerie mood. I uh, love the score on this. It played a big part. The only little uh, gripe I would have with it is it's a little over the top how they play it. They do have those moments where it starts building up to a crescendo and it just keeps going way past where it probably should have. I'm more into kind of restrained scores because I don't believe in the filmmakers yelling at their audience and screaming at them in the face uh, to be like, this is how you should feel. Like, we get it. Like, we take the cues from the music, and if it's properly composed for what you're trying to get through with the film, then it should be fine, which it is in this film. Like, they do a good job with that. I just wish they would have kind of, you know, taken it down a few notches. Uh, but they do use it in, an inch, in, in cool ways where basically, like, there's a situation that like the danger or the dread is kind of building and then that's when the score kind of like builds up, builds up. But like I said, you know, they just have a tendency to kind of like go past where they should probably stop it. Um, but I understand the idea behind it. But the mood is really good. They set a really awesome atmosphere early on. That's not just done with the score. It's also done with the set design and also with the way they're shooting. A lot of really cool camera work in this. It looks really good. Very nice cinematography, a lot of interesting smooth camera movements. There's no bad shaky camera work in this, which thank goodness for that because so many of these films these days have really shaky cam, like they're trying to do all handheld. These individuals knew what they were doing to try and keep things looking nice and clean and smooth, and I appreciate that. Uh, it has real a real sterile look to the film because obviously it's people like staying in a facility that's like, a scientific facility, but it's also kind of beautiful at the same time. And I think a large part of that is what I was talking about with the atmosphere is that it's 
great set design and it's really great camera work and those kind of come together to like have this dichotomy of like it's kind of like boring and sterile looking but it's also kind of like beautiful and interesting looking at the same time so i like how they were able to pull that off uh quite good acting in this one i don't think there were any performances that i didn't think were at least good it was good to better than good uh, a lot of good performances in there and obviously that really helps to sell a film obviously uh, in addition to that, the characters in dialogue, I think, are quite well written. Um, they get into situations that are pretty intense, and everyone's able to shift properly, the actors as well as they did a good job with shifting the character dynamics and shifting the dialogue. All the dialogue seems very realistic for what's going on within the film. And I won't say, I wouldn't say that there's anything in here because, you know, us horror nerds, we like to watch these films and be like, mm, that doesn't seem realistic for what's going on here. This character wouldn't do that. That character wouldn't do that. I didn't really find any of that stuff so much. Uh, so that speaks to good, grounded writing for the script. Uh, things ramp up before the 30-minute mark, which I think is pretty good because there are plenty of films, especially lower-budget independent films these days that they take a long time for anything to get going. They feel like they have to lay down so much groundwork with what the story is and what's going on with the characters. This film does a pretty good job of giving you an understanding of who these characters are, what the situation is, and where the story may be headed pretty early on, like pretty quick. And then they hit you with really amping up things and getting to the more interesting stuff before the 30 minute mark, which I think is a pretty good job, honestly, because you obviously have a bunch of things, a bunch of track that you have to lay before you get to that point. So they did a good job with that one. Uh, there's some pretty solid gore in this, which I really was not expecting for what the film is supposed to be, what I, the little synopsis that I read of it. Um, it's not a ton, a ton, but there's some pretty solid gore, like amount of blood, basically. It's no like great practical effects, but amount of blood, basically. That's that's where I'll kind of leave that. Once you get into the thick of it, you realize there's more to this than the initial premise. So I always appreciate that. When you're going into a film and you're like, oh, okay, like I get what, where they're potentially going with this, but then they throw kind of another level into it. And I really always appreciate that where they're like, look, this is not a face value film. There's a little bit more. There's something a bit deeper. And if you want to dig or think a little harder, here you go. You know, there's a little little reward for you, basically. So I'm, in, I'm into that. I thought they did that well. Uh, the pacing feels about right for this, and the overall length is not long. It's an hour and 30-minute film with credits. That's perfect for what the story was they were trying to tell. They could have trimmed it down a little bit, but it's fine that they didn't, honestly. The pacing is good. They had enough happening at good enough intervals to keep you engaged and not really lose your, lose your interest. So... I like that. Uh, and the ending was pretty good. I did quite enjoy the ending. Although there is one thing that happened that I was a little bit like, mm, I'm not so sure about this. You know, speaking, kind of going back a little bit on what I just said a little bit ago about in this situation, maybe this wouldn't happen. But it's not a huge stretch. So I was kind of like, okay, I'm just going to go along with the premise here. But pretty good ending. It, it had a decent payoff. So as far as this film goes, it actually plays on the theme of distrust of corporations, which, you know, that that's used a lot in film. That's used a lot specifically in horror films. Uh, and uh, it's warranted <laughs> because it's hard to trust corporations now and forever, basically. There's a wonderful documentary out there from ma many, many, actually decades ago at this point called The Corporation, and there's a wonderful quote in it that I like to say to people all the time, which is, the problem with corporations is there's no body to incarcerate and there's no soul to save. And that's so true. And this film kind of plays off of that type of stuff. Um, not entirely. Like, that's not the whole thing with the film. But yeah. Because uh, it also deals with uh, self-worth and determination, which I thought was also an interesting level to kind of add to this film. Um, and, you know could end up making you reflect and you know I reflected a little bit about my feelings about self-worth and self-determination and situations you may end up finding yourself in but anyway that's all that I have to say about double blind I did enjoy it out of five stars half stars in play I'm going to give it a 
pretty good three and a half star rating. I do think it was a nice film. I am considering this as part of the 2024 releases because it's an Irish film that just kind of hit uh, voodoo in 2024. So everyone feel free to start watching it and see if it's one of the best horror films of 2024. So far, far for me it is, but that's also because I haven't watched a lot. So we'll see. But anyway, comments. Yes. If you see, if it, sorry, I forget sometimes. If you've seen, if you've seen this film and you want to talk about it, go ahead and put it in the comments. Uh, you can do spoilers in the comments. That's totally fine. Do me a favor and hit subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate that. Thumbs up on this video if you want to help me with that al uh, algorithm in YouTube. And you can hit the notification bell button because then you'll know when I'm putting up new videos. But regardless, thank you so much for taking your time to watch this. I do appreciate that. And until next time, keep it brutal.